Hi everyone, there are four methods of solving quadratic equation, which are factoring method, also known as factorization method, formula method, that is by applying the quadratic formula, completing the square method, and graphical method. In this video, we are going to solve this question by applying all the four methods. That means you are going to learn all the four methods in this one video. When a quadratic equation problem is not factorizable, then you have the other three methods to apply. The factor method of solving quadratic equation. We are going to need four terms. Here we have the first term and here we have the second term and here we have the third term. But to effectively apply the factor method, we are going to split this middle term into two. To achieve this, we are going to use the coefficient of x squared, which is 2, to multiply the constant, which is minus 3. 2 multiply minus 3 is minus 6. Next, we are going to think of two numbers. When we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get minus 6. And when we add these two numbers, we're going to get a replacement of this middle term, which is minus 5. The two numbers are minus 6 and 1. Minus 6 multiplied by 1 will give you minus 6. And minus 6 plus 1 will give you minus 5. Now, instead of minus 5x, I'm going to have minus 6s plus x. Now, we have four times and we can apply the factor method of quadratic equation next we're going to pair this term and the other term next in the first two terms we're going to consider what is common what is common to 2x squared and to 6x it is 2x next we're going to open a bracket what will i put here by the time i multiply the value i will get 2x squared it is x this is a minus next what will i put here by the time you multiply 2x i will get 6x it is 3 next i will close the bracket the rule says i will copy whatever i have here i will just copy and paste because these two brackets must be the same and this is equals zero next what will I put here? By the time I multiply it with S, I will get the third term here. It is plus 1. 1 times X will give you X. And 1 multiply minus 3 will return minus 3. Next, these two brackets are the same. Hence, I will just take one of the brackets, which is X minus 3. And whatsoever that is outside the bracket, which is 2X plus 1 and this is equals zero. Next, I will have that x minus three is equals this zero. Also, that two x plus one is also equals this zero. From x minus three equals zero, x is equals three. And we have obtained the value for our x one. Next, for x two, we have minus one over two. To solve this using the quadratic formula we need to first of all consider the general formula which is a x squared plus b s plus c equals zero next we compare two is in the position of a so a is a two minus five is in the position of b hence b is minus five minus three is in the position of c hence c is minus 3. From the given question, we have extracted the values of a, b, and c. Next, we are going to consider the quadratic formula. To find x1, we are going to consider the plus and to find x2, we are going to consider the minus. For x1, we are going to have minus is here, but b is minus 5. For x1, I will consider the plus and inside the square root this is minus b which is minus 5 and the minus 5 
is squared next we have a minus then 4 will multiply a is 2 and it will multiply minus 3 and everything is dividing 2 times a is 2 and x1 is minus times minus will give you plus and we have 5 this plus inside the square root this is squared minus 5 times minus 5 will give you 25 and we have a minus 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 8 multiplied by minus 3 will give you minus 24 at the denominator we have 4 next x1 is 5 plus minus times minus is plus everything divide by 4 x1 will now be 5 plus and inside the bracket we are going to have 49 at the denominator we are going to have 4 x1 is now 5 plus the square root of 49 is 7 everything divide by 4 and 5 plus 7 is 12 divided by 4 x1 is now 3 and we have gotten one of the roots of the quadratic function which is x1 next we are going to look for the second root which is the one with the minus everything we have done here is the same for the minus using this quadratic formula except that instead of plus this time around we are going to use a minus now our x2 will become here i will have 5 minus 7 over 4 everything will be the same except that this will just change sign to become a minus and here 5 minus 7 is minus 2 divided by 4 at the denominator our x2 is minus 1 over 2 now we have found the two roots x1 and x2 to complete the square we are going to divide all through by 2 next 2 we take away 2 and we are now left with x squared minus 5x over 2 minus 3 over 2 0 divided by 2 is 0 next step we are going to take the constant which is minus 3 over 2 the constant is the number without x and we're going to move it to the other side it will become 3 over 2 these are the steps we must follow when we are applying completing the square method next we're going to complete the square by taking the coefficient of x which is minus 5 over 2 we're going to multiply this by 1 over 2 then we're going to square this this is completing the square we complete the square when we take the coefficient of x multiply it by 1 over 2 and square everything together now you have minus 5 over 4 all squared next we're going to add this completed square to both sides of the equation the next step is x is having squared here and minus 5 over 4 also have square at the top i will bring this x out with the square then the minus 5 over 4 also have square i will put both of them together and square it we have factorized everything we have here if you open up this bracket you are going to get everything here back that is if you open up x minus 5 over 4 twice x minus 5 over 4 if you expand this bracket you will get this back x times x will give you x squared x multiply minus 5 over 4 will give you 
minus 5 over 4 multiplied by s will give you minus 5x over 4. Minus times minus will give you plus and you're going to have 5 over 4 all squared. This is now s squared minus 5x over 4 minus 5x over 4 will give you minus 2 5x over 4 plus 5 over 4 all squared this is 1 and this is 2 and we're going to have x squared minus 5x over 2 we have 2 remaining here plus 5 over 4 all squared remember when you have minus 2 squared and plus 2 squared both will give you 4 in mathematics inside this bracket we can have plus or minus you can see that this actually gave us this back everything on this left hand side is compressed to this on the other side of the equal sign we have 3 over 2 plus minus 5 times minus 5 will give you 25 and 4 times 4 will give you 16 next here we have x minus 5 over 4 in bracket squared and on the other side 16 multiply by 3 you are going to get 48 this is plus next 2 will multiply 25 you are going to get 50 next 2 multiply by 16 at the denominator you are going to get next on this side 48 plus 50 will give you 98 over 2 we go here 49 and 2 we go here 16 and now we are left with 49 over 16 next this square will move and become plus or minus square root of 49 over 16. The plus or minus is because a perfect square root can be plus or can be minus. For example, minus 4 squared will give you 16 and plus 4 squared will also give you 16. So how are we sure if it is the minus of the 4 that gave us 16 or if it is the plus that gave us 16 hence we are going to say plus or minus square root of 16 because at the end we are going to get 4 that's why in quadratic equations and quadratic functions we normally use plus or minus now our aim is to make x the subject this minus 5 over 4 on the other side will become 5 over 4 the square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 16 is 4 next for x1 we're going to have 5 over 4 plus 7 over 4 and for x2 we're going to have 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4 next because these four are the same i will just take only one four at the denominator i will add the numerators which is 5 plus 7 and i will have 12 here because the 4 is the same i will take just one 4 5 minus 7 is minus 2 here x1 is 3 and here x2 is minus 1 over 2 to apply graphical method to this quadratic equation this must be a function of y this means that the value of x will keep changing in this equation to keep it simple we just say that the quadratic equation is equals y next we're going to draw a table next we're going to consider some range of integers here i will choose from minus 2 maybe to 4 you are free to choose any suitable range of values next I will now input from minus 2 to 4. Next, I will substitute x equals minus 2 into this function. That is, when x is minus 2, we are going to have that y 
is 15. Next, when x is minus 1, y will give us 4. Next, when x is 0, y will give us minus 3. Next, when x is 1, y will give us minus 6. Next, when x is 2, y will give us minus 5. Next, when x is 3, y will give us 0. Next, when x is 4, y will become 9. Next, you are going to need a graph paper. From the table, let's plot for the quadratic function. When x is minus 2, y is 15. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is minus 1, y is 4. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 0, y is minus 3. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 1, y is minus 6. Next, at x equals 2, y is minus 5. And this is the meeting point. Next, at x equals 3, y is 0. Next, at x equals 4 y is 9 and this is the meeting point next we are going to join all the points with parabolic shape next determine the points where the curve cuts the x axis the curve cuts the x axis at minus 1 over 2 and at point x equals 3 when a curve cuts the x axis at two different points it is called a real and distinct root you can see that the answer we obtained using factoring method, formula method, completing the square method, and graphical method are the same. If this video was helpful, please click the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.